Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another What I'm Liking and Not So Much. And also this week I do have a special guest. So if you guys would like to see maybe what I'm liking and maybe not liking and who my special guest is, keep on watching. Okay, as you can see, I am in my new setting and I'm liking it right now. It's just kind of a little different um, atmosphere and everything. So uh, yeah, you can't see my snowmen, but they are back there still. I did put them back there. They don't actually technically seem to be for Christmas and it's still winter and it says winter something on it. So I just left it up there. That will be cute decoration, but you really can't see them with my, with my head. So yeah. All right, so first of all, my guest that I have this week, I have really became very close friends with um, just throughout this past year, this past year and everything, 2016, and uh, that is Mary Glitzy Fritzy. I think most of you all might know her. Um, she's just a super person to watch on YouTube in general. I love her silly... Um, upbeat self. I mean, she seriously really cracks me up sometimes, you know, I mean, she could be dead on serious, of course, but the way she does her reviews or get ready with me is tutorial kind of things or anything, maybe even just a chit chat. It's just so funny because she totally reminds me of somebody. I totally can see myself going out for a girl's night, you know, um, maybe catching a cup of coffee or something, getting a drink, going out to eat, going shopping and just having a blast with, you know, just cracking up, talking about the crazy things that maybe we did in life um, or just in general, just crazy things, you know, just in general. But I just, I, I really, really love her. I really do. I have enjoyed her very much. So if you don't know who she is, you're missing out. You really need to go check her out. So I will put a link down below to her video. Please go check her out. Show her some love. Maybe subscribe if you like, you know, and share the love and everything. She also has a shop, a um, shop where she has like uh, jewelry, um, makeup and different things. Uh, some of the makeup I believe like is uh, gently used or something like that. But of course she does the um cleaning i think she cleans like with the alcohol whatever they do for that kind of thing um but she has her shop as well i'll put her shop too down below along with the video link so if you want to go and check out see what she has she has really nice some really nice items still got my code that's one thing i am not liking if you want to know one thing i'm not liking so much it has nothing to do with beauty this cold that i cannot get rid of i hope this lighting is okay I kind of feel like I should have put a more darker color on my um, lips, but I didn't. So anyway, okay, so let's get started with, I do hair care and skin care usually first, then we go into makeup. I have quite a few hair care and skin care products this time around. So, all right, hair care. As you guys can tell, got my hair cut. I did get it cut. It's not obviously real short. I mean, I still have my long hair, but it's not as long. It was like way down past my chest and everything. You know, it's pretty long. And um, I just basically got it cut like one length right now. I didn't get too much of any layers. So, and this is why I like my hair sometimes short like this. I didn't curl my hair. I just put in my basic stuff that I do put in. And so, yeah, I didn't curl my hair and my curls obviously lay out so much better because my hair is not so heavy and so long. So I do like this length. And if you notice, I don't know if you can, but I colored my hair. So we're not really seeing or hopefully not seeing any grays. Hopefully it did cover up all the grays. Um, so, yeah, I don't have all that silver shining through. And what I like to use, I do like the John, is it John Frieda? I think it's John Frieda. But this is one of my other favorite hair colors. And I was actually sent this in one of those influencer boxes or something like that. And I ended up really, really liking this hair color because I feel it really does cover the grays so well. And that is the Clairol Expert Collection. 
comes in this kind of, and as you can see, it has the nice and easy, it says age to file right there. You probably have heard me talk about the Pantene Age Defy. There's like a hair serum that you can put it in. There's a shampoo and conditioner that is a like that suits to the, it is the called the Age Defy Collection. It fights seven signs of aging hair. And this was one application. I did use two because I felt like with my thick hair and just everything I needed to. This color here is 5R medium auburn which it's the only i did want to go in the red family but this is the only so if you're looking for red this is the only red color medium auburn uh, that you'll find i didn't see any like cherry red or anything like that but i'm fine with that because it does look really good on me i don't know if the lighting's fully showing some of the uh, reddish or kind of tinge to it or anything it might be but it's a really nice color and it suits really good on me because this is the color I used last time. Okay, so another product that I just recently purchased, um, I didn't show this in a haul, but I didn't end up getting it till a little bit later. And I do have another haul. I do have another haul coming up and I just figured I'll just show it here. So I'm not going to really show it in the haul, I'll just show it here then because um, I am really liking it. And it is from Tresemme and it's the Keratin Smooth. Um, infusing smoothing serum and it actually does have the allure marking on it you know like for the best of allure kind of a marking on it like it helps with the frizz in your hair and it also illuminates shine and it's a really nice serum hair serum so I have been really liking this and I've been putting it in my hair like uh, while it's still wet and during uh, when I start putting all my other hair products in so next product is it goes along with my Mark Anthony True Professional uh, Strictly Curls collection. And this is a curl cream. I think it's called Curl Envy. Perfect curl cream. It controls, defines coarse, frizzy hair while adding moisture for soft, natural, frizz-free curls with shine. And I believe it's six fluid ounces. And it has that nice lemon custard scent that I like from the shampoo and conditioner, which I simply love and I will probably continue getting the Mark Anthony collection for the curls because I am really liking it. This actually is just as good for me as the Jane Carter curl cream that I always rave over. I like this just as well. So if you have wanted to try any good curl cream, this is another one that I would really put up there on my list. So a product that I'm not liking so much for the hair and I have told you guys, I'm having a very, very, very hard time with dry shampoo. And it is the Batiste dry shampoo. I know it's raved on here. I know a lot of other people really like it and love it. I'm not saying the product doesn't maybe work because it obviously works for other people. But for me, I am not liking it so much. It does not, I think it's just my hair in general. I think it's the course of my hair, my hair texture, everything does not agree with any dry shampoos because every single dry shampoo I have tried has been a, just a complete fail. I know there is one for somebody that has dark hair because somebody told me maybe try the one with the dark hair so I don't get that white buildup because this, this, I mean, seriously, like a little spritz and, and I can see the white already now. What it is with dry shampoos for me in general is I almost feel like I have hairspray in my hair because I will brush through my hair, get all the knots and different things out, and I'll try and spritz dry shampoo in my hair, and I'll do the thing that you're supposed to, like, you know, with your scalp and everything, and just work it all through. I feel like it tangles my hair more. I feel like it makes my hair feel sticky, tacky, and tangled, and it's with all of them. Again, it's not just this one. It's with every single dry shampoo I've tried. I felt like my hair... I put hairspray in it, not, I mean, I want it to feel soft. I don't want it to feel like where I can't put my fingers through it. I feel like it's hairspray that where you can't put your hair fingers through and I don't put a whole lot in it. Like, you know, so it's not even that. Yeah. Not liking it so much. Two other products that I'm really loving is the Nick, the Nick Chavez, uh, hair, uh, shampoo and conditioner that I was telling you guys I had purchased cause I wanted to try some a little more higher end 
uh, like salon type shampoos and conditioners. And oh my goodness, these work so wonderful. And it does say volume shampoo, but it doesn't make my hair too uh, puffy, as I would say. It doesn't make it real puffy. It just looks like nice, soft curls. And it does. It makes my hair nice and soft and shiny and manageable. It's it's a really nice shampoo and conditioner. It is high end. It is a little more higher price than some of my other shampoos and conditioners that I've tried, but it has been worth it and I have really liked them a lot and they smell great. Okay, skincare. So one product here that I purchased from Ulta a while back ago, or not too long ago, I guess actually, is the a AHA Botanical Body Soap from Maria Badescu. That's yeah, this big bottle here. Oh my goodness, which I think everybody in my house must be liking it because it's kind of going down, but I've been putting this in the shower. This gives such a deep clean to my body. It, it deep cleans, like you can really feel it's cleansing like my skin. I can't explain it. Like it really makes me feel clean, but it's so soft. Like my skin feels so soft, so smooth. You can, and I have used this on my face already, like to wash my face. I just watch because you, this product here, you don't want to get in your eyes. It even says on here, this does have, and it has right here, it revitalizes and nourishes dry dehydrated skin with linden and ginseng in our fresh citrus herbal scented AHA botanical body soap. This is an alpha hydroxy acids found naturally in grapefruit extract to slow away dead skin cells. So yes, highly recommend if you're really struggling with dry skin on your body or anything, any, any of that kind of stuff, I would say try this. And I have used it on my face and it did really nice and it feels so clean. A couple of products here that were sent to me, um, I believe that I believe our company is called uh, Brie, B-R-I-A-A. -A, and I had seen Amy Miranda uh, makeup. I'll put a link down below to her channel. She was sharing one of the products, which is this one here, the Deep Revitalizing Polishing Mask. I believe it was this one. It's Ready, Set, Rejuvenate. And it comes in a nice tube like this. And this actually comes from Israel. Talk about deep clean, like when I was saying on my body. This really has deep clean, like it makes my skin feel so refreshed. Like when you want to have a pick-me-up refreshness to your skin. Um, this one here has done that for me. And I like it because you can also polish it. Like once you leave it set for the time that it sets and everything, you can go through and polish it. So I like a lot of masks that are like that. I really do. I like where you can, it's like a, a double, double work to it. So this is a really nice one. I will put a link down below. Um, to the site so you can maybe check some of the products out. This one here is the Pure Hydration Cleansing Gel uh, Genesis it has on there. I love the smell. This has a nice scent. I don't know if the mask has a scent, but this has a nice, it has a perfume scent, but it's a soft perfume scent. It's not one that's like, for me anyway, it doesn't uh, smack me in the face and too strong. It's just a nice soft scent. I, I like it and it's kind of a thick gel when you first put it on, but then almost like when you start working it into your skin to cleanse your face, it kind of melts in along there. And my skin feels so nice and soft and hydrated. So I really like this cleanser too. So I will put a link down below to uh, this company and her products out, check some of them out. I am gonna try, uh, she has an eye serum, I believe. I'm, I wanna try an eye serum that she has. Uh, I don't get anything for it. Or anything of that sorts. I just like to tell you guys about products that I'm trying that's that I purchased or sent to me. So, and of course, you've been hearing me talk a lot about the Zo Skin Health uh, by Zen Abaji, Dr. Zen Abaji. Oh my goodness, this is the Essential Daily Power Defense Anti Aging Formula. Yeah, I was trying to think about saying that right. And here is the bottle right here. It has a nice little pump. You push it out, press it out here. This has a wonderful citrus scent to it. I love it. I like using it a little more during the daytime. Not that it doesn't work at nighttime. I have used it at nighttime. I just like to use it for my daytime moisturizer. I think I will have the skincare review of these products 
up before this video. And if I do have it up before this video, I'll put a link down below so you can see my whole review and discussion on the products that were sent to me. This is a wonderful moisturizer. I'm really liking, I'm really liking that. So I'm going to go ahead and talk, in, talk about makeup. So not too many products here for makeup. Um, I've been pulling out some of my Mally, what are these? Lip magnifier lip pencils. I really like these. I think she does still have these you can purchase. Not so sure at Ulta, but I know you can still purchase on her site, I believe. And I love these because not only are they like a lip liner, but then you can color in your lips. And this one here. Yeah, so you can color in your lips. This one's like a nice natural color that I have on right now. Uh, this shade is Nude. Looks like it says Nude Rose. Not even sure how well you'll see that there. My bronzer that I've been using lately is this one from MAC. And it was from the, I don't know what collection this was. I know it was like, was it like last summer? I don't know. I'm not sure what collection this came from. But the, it's the Golden Rinse. The Golden Rinse um, bronzer. And I've really been loving this. I've been using it a good bit lately. It has a nice color to it that works really nice for my skin tone. And does give a little bit, as you can see, some shimmer. Not shimmer, but sheen maybe. There it is right there. It's a really nice color. All right. And I am all into the hype of the It CC uh, this one's the illumination one. This isn't the original one, but I am loving, and I see why so many have really loved the CC cream from it. I, it gives the illumination one. This one here does give me that glow that I like a lot of times and the coverage. Oh my goodness. I couldn't believe the coverage is like full coverage. It covered my redness and acne scarring and just different things really well. I'm loving it. All right, another product that impressed me a lot, and I would say if you like a matte uh, eyeliner that you can put on the top of your eyelid, if you like the matte, you don't like the shiny, you like the matte uh, look, this would be for you. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner. And then my shade is in Black Party, but this is them there. There is like several different colors you can get. You can get teal. I believe there's a blue color, a uh, brown color. Just there's all different different shades. But this has that really nice, precise tip on it. Um, it works really great along um, for me when I'm getting real close to the lash line area. If you see my Get Ready With Me, you will see me using some of these products here, like the It and this. Really like that eyeliner. And lastly, I will put these two together because I did use them in my Get Ready With Me. Very impressed with both of these products here. And that is what I have on my eyes again today for my eyelashes and everything. And it is the all famous L'Oreal Voluminous um, Eyelash. There's the mascara on the top here. That's the original. And then this is the primer. And I'm loving both of them. I really like what it's doing for my lashes. I see why a lot of people really enjoy, you know, especially because I used to hear a lot of people always talk about the Voluminous Mascara. And the wand on both of them are just like your basic uh, mascara wand. Just a basic mascara wand. I love it. It has been working great. I would highly say, now I've never tried the Lamp Lancome. The Lancome primer, I've never tried it. Uh, Glitzy Fritzy, the, she loves this. She actually had the Lancome one and she's always loved the Lancome. Uh, but we all know, or if you don't know, uh, Lancome owns L'Oreal or L'Oreal owns Lancome, whichever way it goes. It came out with drugstore version similar to the primer, but she said she thought this even was better than the Lancome. So that caught my attention. That's kind of what made me want to buy this as well. I already knew I wanted to try this mascara, 
but that's why I bought this because I haven't used an, uh, a primer for my eyelashes in a long time. So I would highly recommend checking both of those out. They are really great mascara and primer. You can get them together if you're lucky. Like my Walmart had it where I, I got to get both of these, purchase both of these. So if you're lucky, maybe look around your Walmart if you wanted, wanted to try both of those. I, that's how I got mine was in a nice pack together. So, so thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that very much. And it also make me very happy. Also, please go check out Mary Glitzy Fritzy and her video. I'm curious to see what she's going to be sharing with us of what she's maybe liking and maybe not liking so much. I'll put a link down below to her video. And also, if you did come from Glitzy Fritzy's uh, channel or if you just clicked on just in general to watch my video, uh, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week if you'd like to keep up with uh, my segments of what I'm liking and not so much. And also I do other things like uh, get ready with me's and um, hauls, of course, reviews, different reviews on products and everything, per things I purchased or sent to me. Don't forget to hit the bell. I guess you got to hit the bell button now to really keep up with the video so if you want to be notified and know when I'm putting up videos make sure you hit the bell button and as always bees please remember to just be yourself love yourself and let the real you shine through so until the next time you take care I will see you then love you guys bye